Hello there, Abraza Award Primary Parents. It's Sister Sego with another parent instruction video. Today's video is for the song Gethsemane, as you can see right here. And I really wanted to teach this to the children in primary in preparation for Easter, but since we are not together, um, I wasn't able to do that. Thankfully, this is a song that most of the children have learned in other primaries. So hopefully the sing-along video that I already presented for them will be something that they're familiar with. So the sign language to this song um, is simplified. And what I did is any word that is in red is the song, excuse me, is the sign that I actually signed. So it wasn't so complicated. I didn't want the kids to be so busy moving their hands that it took away from the meaning of the song. So here's how it starts. It starts with a sign that they already know. Jesus. It's middle fingers to the palms of both hands. Jesus. And then climb the hill to the garden still. That whole line, I just have my hands kind of going up a ladder like that. So Jesus climbed the hill to the garden still. And then you're in this position and we're going to move to the next line that says his steps. His steps were heavy and slow. So then you just make like footsteps with those same hands. Love, that's a sign they already know. And a prayer, prayer looks like this. The hands kind of one hand covers the other fist and it comes down. So love and a prayer. And the way I signed took is I kind of went like he went because it didn't really take him there, but it, you know, it, it led him there. So I, I went this way, took him there to the place only he could go. This I'm pretty sure is the actual sign language for lonely. You have, or excuse me, for only, you have the hand facing this way, palm front with the one finger up, and then you flip it around to the back of the hand facing forward. And this kind of has double meaning because it also means um, he's the only one who could have done it. So it's like you, you end up with only one. And I, I like that. He's the only one who could go and do this, this sacrifice in Gethsemane. So you go like this and move it to that. And then the word Gethsemane. There are many different ways that people sign this when they sign it in the song for this song. Some people fingerspell it and, and there's, there's some people use garden. I chose to just use this sign, and it just means this is the area. This is that special area that he went, and throughout this song, this just means this area, and it's referring to that same area. So, we just do this, Gethsemane, Jesus loves me, and those are signs they already know. So, he went, similar to what we did with it, took him there, he went willingly to Gethsemane. We have that area again. And then we move into the second verse. He felt all that was sad. We just take two hands and pull them down like this, kind of like tears falling. Wicked or bad. Bad is one hand with your um, the, kind of the palm towards you, and then it slaps the other hand that's sitting right here at chest level. So he felt all that was sad, wicked or bad, all the pain we would ever know. So the focused word is pain. It's two index fingers, and they kind of just drill in like this, like something's really hurting. While his friends were asleep, so asleep is one hand, I think it's this hand, and it kind of comes down like your eyes closing. He fought, so your two hands are fighting, kind of like this. He fought to keep his promise. Promise is a word we know from another song. Point your finger here. Other hand down on this fist that's resting there. His promise made long ago. And then we go back to the chorus. Gethsemane, Jesus loves me, so he went willingly to Gethsemane. And then this bridge part of the song right here. The hardest thing that ever was done. Just think two rocks for hardest. The greatest pain, we already know this sign, that ever was known, the biggest battle, we know that from thought, same sign, the biggest battle that ever was won, this was done, done is two hands like this, swinging, this was done by Jesus, the fight, we know this one, was won by Jesus, and then we go into a modified chorus, Gethsemane, 
Jesus loves me. We already know that. And here's the modification. They changed this line. So he gave. We take our hand like you're receiving a gift. So he gave his gift to me in, they know that from another song, Gethsemane. And then again, Gethsemane, Jesus loves me. So he gives, the exact same sign as we used for gave, his gift to me from, it's from there, Gethsemane. Now, it's so common to confuse these two lines, to try and remember, is it gave first or give first or give or It just is so easy to make that confusing. And the way that's easiest for me to remember is the first time we say it in this modified chorus, both of these words, gave and in, are shorter than the word, words, excuse me, gives and from. So if you can just think that, is it give, is it gave? Okay, it's going to be gave because it's the shorter word. He gave his gift to me in Gethsemane. He gives his gift to me from Gethsemane. So that's just a little mnemonic trick that I use to help me remember how to, to keep these straight in my head. I hope that you are able to use this and the sing-along video to supplement your Easter celebration. And until next time, we'll see you later.